Hi, I'm Ms. Willard. I'll be your virtual teacher for today. We're on week 10, lesson 46, and today we get to learn some new vowel team spellings that will make the I sound. Let's get started. Just like always, we'll start with our daily routines. Let's review our high frequency words and spelling patterns from the last couple of weeks. This high frequency word has one of our vowel teams from last week. Do you see it? O-O says ooh. This is the word soon. What's the word? Soon. Read the word back to me or to somebody in the room with you. Soon. This high frequency word is made up of two smaller words, any and more, any more. Read the word any more with me, any more. Now read the word on your own. Read the word anymore to somebody in the room with you or read it back to me. Anymore. This is the word one. What's the word? One. Read the word one to somebody in the room with you or you can read it back to me. One. This high frequency word has that Y at the end of a two syllable word that says E. Do you see the Y at the end? This is the word really. Read the word really with me. Really. Now read it on your own. Read the word really with me again. Really. Good job. This high frequency word has that Y at the end too. It's every. Read the word every with me. Every. Now read it on your own. Every. Read the word every to somebody who's in the room with you, or you can read it back to me. Every. Take a minute to look at this word. Do you remember it from last week? This is the word little. Read the word little with me. Little. Now read it on your own. Little. Good job. This high frequency word plays fair, so even if you don't remember it, you could sound it out. Do you see the ER at the end? That will say er. This is the word under. What's the word? Under. Read the word under to somebody in the room with you. Under. Now let's do our sound drill and review some of the spellings and sounds we learned for the past couple of weeks. Look at this one. This sound says ooh, like in the word pool. What's the sound? Ooh. You say the sound now. Ooh. This sound says e, like in the word seed. When you see two e's, they say e. You say the sound now. E. O-W can be a little bit tricky because it makes more than one sound. Sometimes it says ow, like in cow. What does it say if it's making a long vowel sound? It says O, oh, like in snow. What's the long vowel sound of O-W? O. Oh. The dash in front of the Y means that this Y is happening at the end of a word. This sound says E at the end of some two syllable words, like happy and sunny. When you see a Y at the end of a two syllable word, it usually says E. What's the sound? E. You say the sound now. E. Do you remember this vowel team? This sound says A, like in play. What's the sound? A. You say the sound now to somebody in the room with you or say it back to me. A. Now let's practice reading words that have some of the sounds we've learned. Look at this word. The first thing I notice is that Y at the end. We just said that says E. I also see a vowel with a bossy R. Do you see it? Now let's read this word. Art. The first part says 
art. And then there's that Y at the end that says E. Let's put it together. Party. Party. Like, I want to throw a party. Now you tap it out. Art. E. What's the word? Party. Excellent. Look at this word. Do you see the vowel team in the middle? What does EE -E say? Let's tap it out. Eek. Blend it. Cheek. The word is cheek. Rub your cheek. Excellent job. This word has a vowel team in the middle too. What does OO -O say? Ooh. Let's tap this word out. Food. Food. The word is food. Like, mmm, that's some good food. What's the word? Food. This word has a vowel team in the middle, too. Take a moment to remember what EE -E says. Now let's tap it out. Get ready. D. E. Deep, deep, like the pool is deep. Now you read the word to somebody in the room with you or read it back to me. Deep. Take a look at this word. What do you see that might help us read it? One thing I notice is that there's two P's in the middle. And when we were learning to read two syllable words in school, we learned that we can split the word between the two P's. So let's sound out the first syllable. It's a CVC in the first syllable, so it'll be a short U. P, uh, p, pup. Now in the second syllable, there's that Y at the end. Remember, a Y at the end of a two-syllable word says E. So our second syllable will be P, E, P, E. Put them together, we have pup, P. What's the word? Puppy. Read the word to somebody in the room with you or read it back to me. Puppy. Look at this word. Do you see the vowel team in the middle? O-O says oo. Let's tap it out. N -oo -n. Noon. Noon. Noon is a time in the middle of the day. Read the word back to me. Noon. We're done with our review now. It's time for today's lesson. Get ready to learn something new. Let's talk about our learning targets for today. The first one says, I can listen to a single syllable word and identify the long vowel sound it contains. So I'm going to say some words while you listen and you're going to hear whether you hear a long A, long E, long I, long O, etc. The second target says that I can identify the different spelling patterns that represent those long vowel sounds. So after we listen and hear the sound, we're going to figure out which of the spelling patterns is used in the word to make that sound. Then finally, we are going to learn two new spelling patterns. The last target says I can read and spell words with vowel team patterns, I-G-H and I-E. So we'll be learning about those two patterns today. All right, listen to the words and listen for the vowel sound that you hear. Game, play, train. What vowel sound do you hear in game, play, and train? A, we hear A in all of those, but we also know that there's more than one way to spell the A sound. So let's take a look and see if we can identify how it's spelled. How is the A sound spelled in the word game? Do you see it? In the word game, there's a magic E that gives its voice to the A. What about in the word play? Do you see that vowel team at the end? In the word play, it's spelled with an A-Y. What about in the word train? 
How is the A sound spelled in the word train? It's another vowel team, A-I. So even though the sound is the same in all those words, it's all A, it's three different spellings to create that sound. Let's do it again. Listen to these three words. Hope, blow, toad. What long vowel sound do we hear in hope, blow, and toad? We hear O. Oh. Let's see how that O sound is spelled in each of these. Look at the word hope. How is the O sound spelled in the word hope? If you look, you can see that there's a magic E giving its voice to the O. What about in the word blow? How is the O sound spelled in blow? We have our O-W vowel team there saying O. Oh. What about in the word toad? Toad. I see another vowel team here. Remember, when we have a vowel team, we hear the long vowel sound of the first letter in the team. So we have three words with O, but the O is spelled differently in each of those words. Let's do one last set of words. Listen, peach, seed, happy. What long vowel sound do we hear in those words? Peach, seed, happy. There's an E in all of those words. Let's see how the E sound is spelled. Look at the word peach. Do you see how it's spelled? It's a vowel team. Look, there's E-A says E in the word peach. What about in the word seed? It's another vowel team. It's a different one. This time it's E-E -E says E in seed. What about in happy? Happy is a two syllable word. So the A makes it short sound. Where do we hear the E? Happy. It's at the end and look. The Y at the end of the word says E. So just like with the last ones, three different words with the E sound, but it's spelled differently each time. Now let's start exploring our new pattern. Look at this word. What do we see in this word that could help us figure out what it is? Do you see that? It has an IE. We've already learned that when there are two vowels together, it's called a vowel team, and we hear the sound of the first one. So what could that IE say? I is the first letter in the team, so it will probably say I. Let's read it. T I tie, like I tie my shoes. Okay. Now I'm gonna put up another word and I want you to pay attention to what changes and what stays the same. What stayed the same? IE stayed the same and IE will say I. What's the word? Lie. Don't lie about something. Let's do one more. What stayed the same? IE stayed the same, and it's a vowel team, so it will say I. What changed? Now it begins with a P. I, pie. What I'd like you to do is I want you to read this list of words to somebody in the room with you, or read them to me right now. Tie, lie, pie. In each of these words, the I sound is spelled with the vowel team, I-E. Do you think there's any other ways to spell the I sound? Take a look at this word. This is the word light, and this has a special vowel team. 
There are three letters that work together to say I. I-G-H is a very interesting vowel team because it's a vowel with two consonants. I-G-H works together to say I. So this is the word light, light, turn the light on. I'm gonna show another word and let's see what stays the same and what changes. What stays the same? We still have I-G-H, but the beginning is different and there's no T at the end. What does I-G-H say? I, let's tap it out. I, I, hi. This is the high, like when something is way high up, high. All right, let's look at another word and figure out what stays the same and what changes. I see the I-G-H stayed the same. Now it begins with an M and the T is back on the end. Let's tap this word out. M -I -t. M -I -t. Might. Might. Might means kind of like maybe we might do something and we might not. I would like you to read these three words back to me now light, high, might. Good job. It's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. It's time to practice what we learned. It's time to go to work. Now it's time for our activity. Get out your distance learning packet and turn to lesson 46. Today in lesson 46, we have a list of words at the top of the page, and our job is to find the new pattern, either I-G-H or I-E, and to read the word. When we're done reading the words and finding the pattern, you get to choose two words that you can use in a sentence at the bottom of the page. Let's do the first one together. Look at the word at the top that begins with an M. Which of our new I patterns do you see? I see the vowel team, I-G-H, circle or underline I-G-H, and then on the line, write I-G-H, because that's the pattern in this word that says I. Let's read the word. M-I-T, might. We just read that word. That's the word might, like I might go to my friend's house today. All right. Let's do the one underneath it. Look down below at the word with the T. What pattern says I in this word? You see it? I-E. So I'm going to write I-E on the line because I-E says I in this word. What's the word? Tie, like I tie my shoelaces. You're going to go through and do the rest of these words. Find whether it has I-G-H or I-E and read the word. When you're done, choose two words and write a sentence about the word. So the sentence I just said, I could use that one. I might go to my friend's house today. If I was going to write that one, it would look like this. I would start it with a capital letter, put spaces between my words, and end it with a punctuation mark. I want you to finish this today and then show it to an adult in your house. Good luck and have fun. Let's take a moment to reflect. What did you do today that is helping you become a more proficient reader? Today we reviewed so many long vowel patterns and we also learned two new spellings that say I, I-E and I-G-H. Thank you for learning with me today. I wanted to remind you that you can do a lot of things to make sure that you're ready for second grade and to keep on learning. You can watch the Alphabet Champ video to work on your letters and sounds, read your decodable reader for the week, and practice your high frequency words. Read for 20 minutes every day and complete a reading log entry and 
work on your handwriting. You can use letters, high frequency words, and some of the words with the spelling patterns we've been learning. Also, you can work on writing sentences. Have a great day.